Hello Church, great to be able to speak to you again today. Uh, in this that one, talk about uh, our response to what we heard on Monday and just give you some indications to how we're going to operate post the 19th of July. I'm sure any of you tuned in and heard the messages and the tone that Boris gave. We heard uh, that there was no perfect moment to make this change. It will never be risk free. I'm not sure life has ever been that. Uh, whenever we make the change, we heard that there'll always be a repercussions. There'll always be uh, a implications of making the change whenever it is. So now is as good a time as any to step forward. But we heard that we're still in a pandemic. We still need to be cautious and we still need to be aware. So as our own COVID steering group met this week, it was agreed that SCF wanted to embrace the lifting of the restrictions. For many of us, we are ready for that to happen. And it's just as an important step for our own health, for our own well-being as anything else. However, we also w wanted to remain cautious and considerate. We've always recognised that people's journey throughout the pandemic has in many ways been their own. And people are in different places for different reasons to meet different needs. As best as we can, we've always sought to move forward together, providing alternatives if that was just not possible. So our intention as we move forward is to continue to provide options for you to choose to engage with in-person activities at, at the, the bridge. So as I think of Sundays, so from the 25th of July, there'll be no need to book to come to church. There'll be no need to wear a mask. However, we recognise that some people still feel more comfortable to do this. And if that's you, then please do come and wear a mask. There's no requirement to socially distance. Again, though, we recognise that some people will feel more comfortable to keep a social distance. So we are going to create for our larger meeting space in the hall for you to sit socially distance, wearing a mask, if that's what you feel best to do. We'd rather have you there in that way than not at all. We want to create an environment of freedom in our worship. So we will begin sung worship from the 25th of July. Again, for those who, who have enjoyed being in a worshipful environment and not singing, we'll create that space in the hall for you to to do do that so people around you similarly may be wearing a mask keeping socially distant and choosing to worship in different ways other than singing we'll continue to provide hand sanitizers we'll continue to ventilate the, the room and our cleaning regime won't change we'll also continue to stream the services as well we feel strongly that now is the time for the fellowship to come back together. I know how comfortable it's become to stay at home and to choose when to tune in. Someone sent me this picture the, the uh, other day and I totally get it. <laughs> but the gift, the beauty and the strength of the fellowship has been in our relationship experience together as one body, the, the, the church, which is why we're seeking to be considerate as we move out of these restrictions and as best as we can provide a way for us to come and worship together on a Sunday, providing different ways for you to do that. We do recognise, however, that, that for some, there is a clear medical reason why you should just delay making that step back to the bridge, which is why we want to continue to stream our services so you can connect in. And if you watch over the stream, then say hi. Let us know that you're there. It's always great to hear from you. What is important is that we must not feel as though we need to apologise if if we're in a different journey to somebody else's in our road out of this pandemic. If we feel comfortable to wear a mask, then please, please do so. We'll create a space where that makes it easier for you. We would rather have you wearing a mask and at church than not wearing a mask and staying at home. If you come and you are in the minority of not wearing a mask, then please don't feel awkward. 
We must ensure we don't judge people who are in a different place on the journey as we come out of these restrictions. This is something that will set us apart as Christians. So what does it mean for our midweek groups? Again, there'll be no need to book. The restrictions on numbers are lifted and no need to socially distance. For those groups who would have met in homes before the pandemic, you can now do so. However, what has always been important for those smaller groups is that initially you move forward together. This is about having a conversation as a group about what is best for you. If you meet at the bridge, how do you want to conduct yourselves? How do you want to have the seating? If you used to meet at home and have a conversation as a group, is now the right time for the whole group to make that switch to, to meeting in a home? Or is it better to wait? Um, it's about moving forward together and creating op op options as best as we can, recognising people are in different places. What I want to leave you with is just a reminder that we have never walked this path alone. God's word tells us that Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us. We can cast our burdens, our worries, our concerns upon him. Why? Because he cares. The key is to keep our eyes, our hearts and our minds focused on him. And then the challenges of this world seem to grow strangely dim. He will guide us. He will protect us. He will be our shield. Um, we are we are so, so fortunate to have Jesus in our lives. So church, let's begin now to come back to, to get together. Let's start the process of reconnecting with one another, um, reforging those links and those relationships with the church as a whole as we press into the things God has for us in the future.